Welcome students, let us see in this video a question from the topic permutations and combinations. Here question is how many words each of three vowels and two consonants can be formed from the letters of the word in, in volute. Okay? So let us see the solution, question is very interesting and simple. Here given word is, given word is in volute. Here total number of letters is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And out of these 8 letters, we are having 4 vowels and 4 consonants. These 4 vowels is I, O, U and E, 4 vowels. <coughs> so, number of vowels is here 4 and number of consonants is also 4 n v l and t okay this is 4 and we have to form the all possible words each word will consist of three vowels and two consonants okay so first of all we have to select three vowels out of four hmm? so therefore therefore number of ways of selecting how many vowels three vowels from this four vowels is how we can express this is 4c3 okay similarly and number of ways of selecting how many consonants two consonants two consonants from total consonants is here is 4 so this is equal to 4c2 wedge okay so therefore uh, number of wage of selection of both consonants and vowels means selection of letters therefore number of wage of selecting how many letters we have selected 3 and 2 selecting 5 letters how much 4c3 into 4c2 by fundamental principle of counting, we are multiplying these two numbers. Uh, you know, fundamental principle of counting. Uh, if one part of the job can be done in M wage and another part of the job can be done in N wage, then this entire job can be done in M into N wage. Multiplication of these two numbers. Okay. Now let us evaluate it. So here, 4C3 into 4C2. 4C3 is 4 factorial by 3 factorial 4 minus 3 factorial we are using the formula here this formula we are using ncr is equal to n factorial by r factorial n minus r whole factorial okay and similarly 4c2 is 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 4 minus 2 factorial okay so this 4 factorial can be written as 4 into 3 factorial and denominator is 3 factorial into 1 factorial 4 minus 3 is 1 into 4 factorial by 2 factorial into 2 factorial this 3 factorial will be cancel out or this 4 factorial can be written as 4 into 3 into 2 factorial so 2 factorial will be cancel out 2 factorial means 1 into 2 that is 2 so 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 okay so finally we are getting here 4 into 3 to the 6 is equal to 24 so there are uh, 24 number of ways of selecting these 5 letters from 4 vowels and 4 consonants but in each selection there is uh, option, there is chances 
of arrangement, rearrangements of letters. In how many ways? Here we are having in total five letters. So these five letters can be arranged in five p five ways. Okay, total number of letters will be five, and they will arrange among themselves in five p five ways. And in each selection, in each, in every selection, okay, in each selection, letters can be arranged in five p five ways. How five p five? Because total number of letters selected is five. So these five letters will arrange among themselves in five p five ways, and this five p five is equal to we can evaluate with the help of this formula. N p r is equal to n factorial by n minus r factor. You know this formula. We have studied in the chapter of permutations. So five p five is equal to five factorial by five minus five factorial. Means five factorial by zero factorial, and you know five factorial means one into two into three into four into five. This is equal to one hundred twenty. So this is the number of arrangements. One hundred twenty arrangements is possible in every selection, in each selection, and we are having how many selections of letters? Twenty-four selections. So total number of possible words with or without meaning will be twenty-four into one hundred twenty. Okay, therefore, therefore, number of words formed is equal to twenty-four into one hundred twenty is equal to two thousand eight hundred eighty. This is the answer. Correct. I hope you have understood it very well. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best. And students, I hope and I'm sure. that you might have subscribed my channel so that you could get benefit of these videos and enjoy mathematics wish you all the best